And so my goal today is to make you change the way you see plastic surgery. And to do that, I'm going to show you two examples of the little revolution that we had in our field in the past decade. The second one is something that I really adore. It's called ear reconstruction. And I had the grand chance to be working with Françoise Firmin in Paris, and she's a master in ear reconstruction. There are only a handful of surgeons who know how to reconstruct an ear. So you're wondering, why reconstruct ears? What's the need? Well, there are kids who are born like this. This is Jeanne, she's 10 years old, she's a very pretty girl, and she was born without an ear. And it's not that uncommon, actually, one child out of 2,000 is born like this. She doesn't really know where the sound comes from, but otherwise that's her only problem. Well, the other thing is that she doesn't really want to go to the swimming pool, or she's afraid when, winds when wind blows because she doesn't want anybody to see that she misses an ear, and she's actually concealing it with an earring. We could replace what is missing by an implant, but it probably wouldn't last for her entire life. Or we can try again to find something in her body that would replace what is missing. And what is missing? It's cartilage. And there is an abundant source of cartilage in her ribs. So we can harvest this cartilage and give it the shape of an ear. But an ear is not a flat structure, and I've carved this in foam to make you understand that an ear is a three-dimensional structure. It has curves, hills and valleys, and this is what you need to reproduce if you, if you want to create an ear. So we are carving the piece of cartilage and adding little pieces onto the other, suturing them with little wires to give it exactly the shape of her other ear. And then we put it under the skin, and miracle, here comes an ear. And that's for our entire lifetime. Thank you. Now, if you like this one, wait for the third one.